Inside the Classroom takes an in-depth look at one of Team Hardin County School's best teachers in action, featuring comments, class instruction, and insight inside the classroom. Well, I decided to, uh, to be a school teacher probably because of my mother. My mother was a special ed teacher back in North Carolina. Um, and being a teacher is kind of like being a leader <clears throat> in the military, just on a smaller scale with dealing with young kids. So um, the transition from military to educator wasn't that bad for me. I'm a student. I think the person who inspired me the most uh, would have been, once again, uh, my mother. And then secondly, uh, my first principal, which was Laura McGray. Mr. Gibbs is so effective because he has a relationship with the students. Um, he sees he sees the uh, potential in all of our students, and he believes in them, and they they trust him, and they know that he believes in them. As we talked about yesterday, we talked about leadership. Okay, attributes of leadership, what it means to be a leader, how do you see a leader? When you look at when somebody say I'm a leader, what do you expect to be a leader? So we're going to dissect that today, break it down, and put it in your own words, okay? How, how you want to be a leader when you become older, all right? He does a lot of jokes, and he's really, really funny. Here's what John Quincy Adams said. What is a leader? If your action inspires others to dream more, learn more, do more, and be more, you are a leader, okay? If your action inspires others to dream more, learn more, to do more, and become more, you are a leader. In other words, you got to make people do things that they normally don't do. Okay? You got to figure out what makes people tick so you can use that to your advantage to make them do what they really don't want to do. Even though once they get it done, they'll be like, ah, that was pretty nice. He makes the classroom fun while we're discussing our next project for the community. I like this because I get to help out the community I live in. I like helping out and giving in so I can help the community that i always been in. A lot of time, you have to say to yourself, how do y'all do that? How do you make people do things, Joe, that you can't, that they don't want to do? How? How do I make y'all do things that come in sometimes 6 in the morning or on the weekends. How do I do that to make y'all do things that you really normally wouldn't do? He lets us work in groups and pick our groups and like he lets us like mess around and have fun but he also sometimes strict. You must show some interest that I I'm concerned about you, okay? Definitely having a lot of friends around and Mr. Gibbs uh, helping me understand a topic when I don't. You know, that's one of the, one of the downfalls of, of is communication. Communication. Because people want to know why, why I got to be here at 6 o'clock in the morning. For what reason? You got to provide purpose, direction. You got to tell people, kind of get them motivated on why they're doing something. And once the, the hardest part is probably getting out of bed. But once they get there, 
They were like, this is, I had a good time, okay? And then they spread the word to their peers, and before you know it, you have a classroom full of students who are just willing to learn, okay? He motivates us to come in on the weekends or random days we don't have school and do activities like holiday cards for the soldiers or a food pantry for people who don't really get much food on the week on the weekends. Question, are you a leader? Okay. Now, I think everyone in here, without a doubt, you, sh you all should be leaders. Okay. I think everybody here should be a B. Who disagree with that? Anybody a, a I'm not sure, a D? Okay. Maybe when you first came into the class, you probably thought I wasn't sure what a leader is. Okay. But I think at this point in time in your career in, in, in JLC, it, you should have had all kind of opportunities to do leadership things. He gives us opportunities to go into the community and help us learn and improve in our leadership. And that's really helpful. But even if we can't make it to those activities, he doesn't get mad and like, He's actually pretty nice, even though he seems scary a little bit. Give me one thing that you did that you didn't think you would ever do. Mentoring. Mentoring. That was a real show all kind of your leadership skill when y'all went to uh, Woodland Elementary and mentored those kids. What else? How about with the, uh, the festival? The festival downtown in E-Town, OK? Being organized. Or organized. Right. Middle school doing community events, in charge of community events, organizing and uh, participating in community events. Feeding America. Feeding America. Coming to the school. <laughs> Coming to the school earlier than you had to. There's a lot of reasons how he make it fun because it's fun that he likes, does all his crazy stuff. If you, just like we discussed yesterday, um, if you find someone, because everybody in here is different. Everybody got something they're good at. We all know Joe is not good at drawing. Okay? We know that. But Joe is good at other things. So we put Joe in positions where he's good at and let him, let him run with it. Okay? Same thing with you all. All right? I know who is good at... Uh, Got better people skills to put them out front to introduce, you know, when we're having guest speakers come in, okay? I know, you know, just, just, that's all about knowing each other, okay? He makes learning fun by, he always makes jokes and can always keep us happy and laughing so we, were, so we never really feel like we're really doing boring work. What I want to talk about is um, what do you, when you see a leader, okay, when you see a leader, what do you see in it? What do you want? Okay. If, if a leader walked in the door right now, I'm a leader. What should be my attributes? So now I want you, I don't want you to tell me. We're gonna write these down. Okay? If a leader walked in the door right now and your eyes was closed, what would you say? What do you think that leader should be in your eye? Everybody gonna have a different opinion. Because leadership is about to influence people to do, to do a mission. That's the key word, influencing, okay? Some people, you got to influence them different ways, okay? I can't influence to live, to do things, unless it's volleyball, okay? Like I can with Freddie, okay? Mr. Gibbs gets us uh, involved in the community a lot, which I like, because that means that we're not just in a classroom all the time getting lectures. We get to do things hands-on. I'm going to get you all in your groups, okay? I'm going to give you about 10, 15 minutes, all right? And I want you to do this diagram of your leadership, okay? So y'all come over here and get your, get your uh, diagrams. When I was young, I remember going to her classroom and uh, sitting down and playing, being a teacher, and listening to her interact with the kids. And that really inspired me to, to uh, wanted, to, wanted to be a leader. And that's why I, come, I joined the military and became a leader. And then when I decided, decided to retire, this, this, 
uh, was right up my alley. If a leader walked in the door right now, what would, what would, what would that leader be to you? Give me some attributes, okay? In your own word, what's a good leader? Is he smart? Motivated? First of all, he's, he has everything very relevant in his classroom. It's real life applications and he has them see things in, from, from different views and he incorporates that in hands-on activities and he brings in multiple guest speakers and people in the community so students can see when they see people in the newspaper and in the community they can say that 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 guy was in my classroom. I enjoy being in the class because I get to meet new people at different places and I get to learn more with friends. Respectful, responsible, all right, okay. Well, I enjoy so many things, it's hard to count. But one of the good things is that he's always talking about leadership, so I always get to learn more. Also, I get to make so many friends here that I always get to meet new people. It's really nice. Honest. You said honest? Leadership be honest? Good. All right. We get to volunteer for programs and like the backpack can, uh, Backpack program and Feeding America. Y'all got a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah. All right. Y'all know y'all got a lot of uh, <coughs> space, that space there. You might want to, you can put more than one word in it. <laughs> I mean, hey, what comes to your mind? Y'all got, it's six of y'all. If a leader, if a leader comes in, what, what it look like to you? What do you think a leader is? How well, how exactly you want to be when you grow up as a leader? Let's write it down. Jot it down. You can't you can't go wrong. What I enjoy most is being a leader and learning to be a leader. Integrity. I say integrity. It's like if you if I drop a dollar in my pocket right now, right? You know it. You know what's mine. You know it's mine. Okay. You got two choices. You can put it in your body or you can give it to me. You, what would you do with it? Then it's integrity. Doing, what's, doing the right thing when it was looking, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if, if, if I think if Sierra seen my dollar, she'd probably put it in her pocket and give it to her mama. Most people don't take children seriously when they say, oh, I want to be a astronaut when I grow up. They think they can't achieve that, but Mr. Giaz believes we can, and he gives us those times and places to help us, like, actually pursue in our path. Why do you think this is important? Why do you think people got to listen? I agree. Listening is, I think, to me, I think this is probably number one because if you don't listen to what people say, you won't understand how to work. I enjoy being in a class because um, I, I always wanted to become a leader because my I have a generation of family that was in Army that I never knew about. But now since I know about it, I feel like I need to be up there and take my place up there too. He's a very exciting teacher. We always do something. We're never bored. I enjoy how like versatile it is. Like We don't do the same thing every day. He likes to change it up and make it where we get to do different things, so it's fun. Today, the class will see uh, a definition of what leadership is. Then I will let them, give them time to write down what they think leaders should be. And then I'm gonna give them an opportunity to share uh, what, they, what they wrote down in their groups with the, with the classroom. First of all, he sets a great example. Um, he leads by example. He's always very professional. He treats everyone with respect. He dresses professional every day. He shows up early. Um, he's willing to do whatever it takes. Um, he's always, his hand is in everything, and he's always willing to help. I say to myself, Self. hey, when leader, a leader come to the door, okay? Woo! Bam! You got your eyes closed. What do a leader look like? Oh. All right, go. Uh, a good leader is they are sociable. He encourages us to be better by um, getting in groups and talking about what we're doing over the weekend and 
stuff like that. This group, I told her they got a lazy eye because one eye is smaller than the other. So let's go. He encourages me to be better by teaching me that even though I am just a student here, I can do so many great things and I can make so many impact in people's lives. It just touches me that I can actually do this and I can be someone so great. Because leadership can be any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Helps us, like if we have a sport, he'll go to that game. He would, um, like, have encur He would like encourage us to do the right thing and have self-discipline. That's a lot, man. I need to put that so I can keep that fo stay focused. That's that's good. All right, I hey, give him a hand, guys. Oh. He definitely uh, wants me to help others out, and to be more prepared. Now, y'all know Talia and Trinity. This, they had to be perfect, and I think she got a rule of marriage the circles and made sure there was, yeah, so that's, that's them. What is a leader? A leader is He encourages me because if I really don't feel right about something, he'll, like, encourage me to do it anyways. Once I had a C on my report card and he asked me why. And I told him because like really in Ms. Hardesty's class, we do math and stuff, but like I'm not really great at math and he'll give me some examples and help me. And sometimes after school, he'll give me like a random problem and I'll solve it and he'll encourage me like, see? I was always being the bad. I was always sometimes being bad, but now that I, now that I know that he keeps a close eye on all his leaders, and he calls us leaders. Now I know that I need to stand up and become a leader. Mr. Gibbs sometimes talks to us personally a lot and makes sure that we can be the best that we can be. What I found out that works best for me is peer-on-peer uh, -peer instructions where uh, group, group activities and where kids can discuss, discuss each other's ideas together. And then we collaboratively talk together and identify the strengths and the weaknesses of, the, of their ideals. I think he's a model teacher. He's a model teacher because he cares about the students. Um, he sets a good example for everybody. Um, I would like to have 30 Neil Gibbs on my staff. Some of the greatest joys for me uh, was when I have a student who graduated from college come back to the classroom and tell, tell me the life skills that they learned in this classroom. And they also give advice to the students in the class. I allow them to be my guest speakers when they come back. Good. All right. Oh. Hey, guys, y'all did an excellent job. OK, I would like for you all to, I would like to go over all of these. I would never remember him as a very good and strong leader because he is very nice and kind and he knows how to get things done and he's sometimes strict when needed. I'll remember Mr. Gibbs by him always telling us that we are special, we are always a leader and we can do great things. And that remembering him by um, the things that we do in the community is something that I never had the other opportunity to do in other schools, so it's really nice. Five or 10 years, I would remember Mr. Gibbs as my good, my cool teacher. Somebody who helped me not be so as shy as I used to be. I want y'all to share your ideas. Even with your lazy eye. I will remember Mr. Gibbs because he helped me along the way become a better leader and he picked me like almost into school ending. He picked me to be in the sixth period, and I got moved up to be in the second period advanced. I'll probably remember him because, like, since he was there to help me with my math and science, I'll remember him. Be so, like, when I become a doctor, then I'll just think, wow, Mr. Gibbs helped me. 
I remember him by knowing that he's the one that put me in shape every time. If I, if he knew that I was not either being a good leader or I need to step up and become a higher leader. As a hyper interactive, caring, and a hard worker. I'll remember Mr. Gibbs as someone who helped me a lot get through middle school and made me, I think he'll help me shape into the person I'll be when I'm older. Well, it's, it's interesting when you see, when students see him at, at a game at North Harden or students that come back to see him, they see him as somebody that had an impact on their life. They see somebody that but somebody that believed in the student and somebody that it was a great role model and somebody that they know they can come back and, and Mr. Gibbs really cared about them. I believe that teachers are important because most of the students waking in hours are with us. And that's why we must set the standard because that's, that's who they see majority of the day is us teachers. So I believe that we, should, we are the most important things in their kids' life. They see us every day, consistently, the same teacher. So that's why I think uh, we should be, be at a higher standard so the kids can have somebody to follow.